It's written for a wide audience. Um, it was written for cybersecurity professionals um, to understand sort of the technical nature of what Stuxnet did to Iran's nuclear program. But I told this story in a narrative form, which is um, a storytelling form. Um, so there are characters, there is suspense, um, and many people have described it as um, like a spy thriller. So I think that although a lot of people in the technical community will get a lot of satisfaction of sort of seeing the technical details of what Stuxnet did, uh, the feedback that I've had in the U.S. and elsewhere where they've read it in English is that it's really a good story. Um, and it helps them, it's not just even about Stuxnet, but about sort of the global situation and environment around which Stuxnet occurred. So it's been funny because the technical people I thought would really enjoy the technical parts of the book and I thought p political people, political animals, would really like the political part and it's been uh, the opposite. The political people really love the technical details and the technical people who aren't used to reading about global politics really love the political parts of it.